thank you very much, Cahirlach, and good afternoon, colleagues and guests. It is a great honour to address you here today as leader of the Fianna Fáil Group in Shannon Today is an historic day as we participate in a special sitting to mark the centenary of the first sitting of the Shannon. We don't often hear much about those first members, so it is welcome to have an opportunity to look back on those who first served in this House and marked their contribution. There were some very notable and interesting members of the first Shannon including, as has been pointed out, WB Yeats, and also four women who were elected or nominated to the first Shannon. Alice Stafford Green, an Irish historian and nationalist, Jenny Wise Power, a founder member of Sinn Féin, who also served as the first president of Common Amman, Eileen Costello, a folk song collector, Irish language enthusiast, who stood for Sinn Féin in the 1920 local elections and became the first woman district councillor for North Galway. She, together with uh, Jenny Wise, succeeded in convincing the then Shannon to reject the Civil Service Regulation Bill, which proposed to confine women to the lower grades of the civil service. Uh, and ultimately, they were successful in that, but it, it did go on to pass. But it shows you the important role that the Shannon played at that time in particular in what was a de facto opposition to the then government. And also Eileen Cuff, Countess of Desert, who was a Jewish uh, woman, London-born, known for her philanthropy work, and was also the first woman in Ireland to be given the freedom of any city in the world, an honour bestowed upon her by the Corporation of Kilkenny in 1910. So as you can see, no ordinary woman. I also want to point out another very interesting member of the 1922 Senate, Morris George Moore from Moore Hall in County Mayo. Moore was a soldier and politician and a member of the Irish Senate from its establishment in 22. He went on to serve also in Shannon Aaron in 37 until his death. And interestingly, uh, Moore Hall in County Mayo was burnt to the ground by the anti-treaty IRA because they believed it to be his house when it was actually his brother George's house. I want to of course acknowledge former President Mary Robinson, whose contribution to Irish politics and the advancement of women's rights is something I as a fellow Mayo person am extremely proud of. From my own experience in both this chamber and the lower house, I can tell you that this chamber is less partisan. And it's, it's due to its diversity of members, which lends itself to a very different style of debate, often with more time to consider in depth the legislation that we are scrutinizing. This process of checks and balances between both houses makes for a better legislative process in the Oireachtas. Many significant amendments to key pieces of legislation are born in the Shannon and private members' bills from senators also have a significant impact on our laws. The Shannon provides more space to debate contentious or challenging issues, and over the decades has allowed minority voices on issues to be put on the record. I think in particular of the struggle to advance the rights of the LGBT plus QI community, and the fearless work of our longest serving colleague, Senator David Norris. I genuinely believe this work and some of the contributions on this matter would not have found the same space in Dáil Éireann. And it's precisely for this reason that I and my party campaigned to retain the Shannon in 2013, acknowledging, of course, the need for reform. Over the past century, diverse voices from all types of backgrounds and experience have served in this chamber. This is part of the richness of Shannon Aaron and precisely why we have celebrations centred around the theme of minority voices, major changes. This chamber offers the opportunity to elect or nominate individuals who bring a particular expertise or representation to the Iraqis that otherwise would not have an opportunity to be here. Today's Shannon illustrates that very well, where we have 40% female representation compared to just 23% in the lower house. And also the first ever Iraqis member from the traveling community, my colleague, Senator Eileen Flynn. I have no doubt that Shannon Aaron will continue to provide a space for diverse and minority voices and for discussion on important issues in Irish society. Thank you, Gail.